Hey YouTube, this is Blueberry7497 here. I'm back with another tech video. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to be uh, giving a few tips about battery life, um, as well as uh, how to install Raspbian Jelly, um, their latest build. So if we go ahead and look in the settings um, about phone, I am running uh, the November 1st build, um, kernel version, there it is. Um, so. Uh, to first install uh, the newer version, you're going to have to hit the download link in the description and you're going to download the file. Then either you drag it on to the root of your SD card or you go ahead and download it straight from your Nexus S and uh, follow the steps that I that I uh, have. <clears throat> so once it's on your SD card, you're just going to re reboot into recovery. Okay, so here we are in recovery. Um, then you're going to go ahead and if you're already running, um, Raspbian Jelly. All you need to do is go down to Wipe Cache Partition, uh, Yes Wipe, and there you go. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and go into Advanced and wipe the Dalvik Cache. Now, if you're running a, a different ROM, let's say Cyanogen Mod, or uh, I believe they have Jelly Belly for this, or some other uh, variant or some other ROM, uh, you're going to need to first to wipe Data Factory Reset, and then you can continue uh, with these steps. Then uh, install Zip from SD card choose zip and if you have it in uh, the root full uh, the root directory you know in no folders it's going to be right down here at the bottom if not you download it straight to your phone you're going to have to go hit the uh, up arrow and just scroll all the way up to uh, download and it will be in your downloads folder now you're going to use your um, volume keys uh, and your power button to execute or your search button like I am if your um, if your volume button isn't working so you're going to see 11.09 AOSP um, that's the file you're going to go ahead and install. You're going to hit yes. <clears throat> okay, so install from SD card complete. Didn't take too long. Um, now you're just going to go ahead and uh, use the arrows, go back, and reboot system now. Okay, so here we have uh, Raspbian Jelly. It's uh, all booted up. Um, <clears throat> so let's first go ahead and take a look at the uh, phone. And here we are. Raspbian Jelly build date. It says uh, November 6th. Um, 6th, excuse me. Um, so even though uh, it, it, um, it had the 11.09, as you can see. Uh, I'm guessing that was just, you know, maybe some minor updates and they didn't actually update the build date, but so you installed um, uh, the build date November 9th. Um, so just a quick, uh, you know, uh, babbling, I guess you could say. Um, battery life has been really good on uh, on this ROM. Uh, it's been better than any other ROM I've ever tried. Uh, stock ROM, Cyanogen Mod 10. Um, I had um, uh, another ROM, I don't remember the name, uh, installed for a while and just this battery life well there we go in the middle of my talking uh, we get a random reboot um, hopefully there's not a lot of these in this build I will report back um, as I use this build but um, so as you can see random reboot um, so as I was saying battery life has been great um, uh, I did you know alter a few things which I'll go over uh, try to be brief about it um, to improve battery life um, on any ROM you're running, um, whether you're you're rooted or not, or custom ROMed or not, um, try that again. But I did uh, buy another battery, um, just so you guys don't you know think that I'm using the same battery. Um, one of the reasons uh, I'm attributing my uh, better battery life to is the addition of a new battery. Uh, this is my old battery, um, so I have a new battery in here. Okay, so if we go ahead and go into settings, and um, you might have saw that little icon I'm about to point out. Um, battery, as you can see, I have, have it at uh, 12 hours and 22 minutes. Um, so that's really good for me. I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I've had about an hour and 24 minutes of screen on time. Um, Android OS seems to take up a, a lot. Uh, might have just been because it just booted. Um, but yeah, that's really good battery life for me. Uh, seven hours. Uh, I had it off the charger last night, and I had... Uh, uh, it says I have no internet connection. Might have to check that out. Um, seven hours off the charger overnight, and it went down about 10%. So for me, that that's pretty good for me. Um, 
Okay, so first thing I just noticed, which I have to mention, is they did, since this is based off of Signage and Mod, they did add the file manager that I reviewed um, or did a quick overview of a few days ago. Um, so if you're looking for native file managing, uh, it's here in this ROM available for you. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out my uh, quick overview of that, you'll hit the link down in this, the description. Um, so everything else seems to be pretty, uh, pretty native, pretty fluid. Um, one thing I did want to uh, mention is I know of uh, was added since the last build, uh, November 1st, uh, security screen lock. They added face unlock, which wasn't here uh, in the any other um, custom ROM that I tried or um, uh, in stock jelly bean or ice cream sandwich. Okay, so it just goes ahead and it captures your face. Um, a few times it says it couldn't see it, probably because of my lighting, and I have this little uh, stand built thing that I made, um, probably in the way. And then you can just go ahead and lock it, and it'll go ahead and unlock your device. So those are just some quick things that I noticed as I booted up this ROM and, and used it, um, been using it. Um, now on to the quick uh, mention of the battery life. Uh, in order to improve battery life, um, what I've done, uh, I've noticed for me that really helped is uh, in there we got in uh, in your Google account. Um, I know you all might not be able to do this, but you know try to uncheck as many things as you can. Uh, uncheck play books, play movies and TV things like that. If you just really don't use them all that often or you don't need them synced, just go ahead and try and turn off the syncing altogether. Um, in, in whatever you can. Another thing is in apps. Uh, if there's certain apps you don't use at all, you can go ahead and disable them. So for example, Apollo, um, I'm guessing this is an app that was just added. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see it here before. Um, Apollo, I'm not going to use it. You can go and hit disable and it won't ever come up. It won't ever be used or anything like that. So as you can see, I have some that are already disabled there. And this is just because it, it stops them from ever being able to be used um, so they don't, you know, run in the background or anything like that. Um, another thing that helps your battery life uh, is if we go into open up maps, and I'll pull this away just for a second. <clears throat> go into settings, uh, hit the menu button, and go into settings, and then you're going to see location settings. Uh, hit that, and for where it says location reporting, and then it says report from this device, uncheck this, make sure this is unchecked. Um, this will stop it from automatically or uh, updating your location. So it will, uh, you'll still be able to use maps properly to, for directions, things like that, but um, it won't like kind of run in the background. So that'll help save you a lot of battery life. Um, so that was pretty much it. Uh, other than, you know, the things I mentioned, which I'll, I'll probably, I'll go through and I'll review this ROM. I'll, I'll use it as my daily driver like I have been uh, and I'll report back. But this ROM has been really great. And other than that initial random reboot, um, I don't see any future problems happening. But if there is, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Um, if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe. Hit that like button. Um, I will be having another giveaway coming up. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, details as it gets closer. And just stay tuned because I will be getting a, a Nexus 4 and hopefully a Nexus 7. Um, so I can go ahead and review those, those for you guys. All right. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.